Rammstein here in Germany. Rammstein. Everyone knows them and everyone knows their tone. And today we want to show you how to get that with a very basic pedal board, to be honest. Now, we're going to just get the elephant in the room out of the way first. Yes, we know we would be much better using that amp than this one. And just before we started filming, some tubes went. So, <laughs> so now we're using a Le Marshall. The MT2W is our kind of main source for the distorted tones. And if, if we think about Rammstein, we think about distorted tones, right? The clean tone is not that important. You might be tempted to zoom in, have a look at our metal zone and see, you know, where the settings are to try and copy the settings. It won't necessarily work for your settings. For instance, when we had it into the 6505, we had the settings very different. And um, we, when we plugged it into here to get the same sort of Rammstein sound, we had to really change it. I would say if you do have the MT2W, you can get a good Rammstein sound with like any amp. However, you are got to listen closely to how your amp sounds and especially you got to listen to the mids because the Marshall does have a lot of them. That's also why it's probably one of the famous amplifiers for lead guitar tones, also on high gain tones. However, for the rhythm section, it sounds very boxy, very quick because it does have many low mids. Rammstein, as I said, they like to use mids more than other bands do. However, it's mostly high mids. So that gives you that very aggressive but still not over presenced tone uh, in the mix, which Rammstein is kind of known for. So what we did with the MT2W on the Marshall is put in some, some higher mids, reduce the low mids, which come naturally from the amplifier, and that's the tone we've ended up with. Rammstein is also a lot about the way you play the guitar. So it's a lot about like palm muting, you know, having a good pick, having a good grip, and really digging into the chords. It's not about being very fast and very technical, it's about very, being very tight. It's you no know, German metal, it's in time, everything is at its place, you know. In the intro, we started with the Ottawa and we used that to get your kind of cocktoa sounds. It's just about using effects for songwriting. Because it can create atmosphere, it can also create a build up, a breakdown, whatever you want, and that's a powerful tool to have. So in, in that case, what I did uh, in the intro was kind of playing the same riff, but on a higher octave version. And uh, I, th I think the wah worked perfectly on that. And it yeah. doesn't have to be a wah, it can also be a flange or a phaser, basically. EQ. Exactly. Anything, yeah. yeah. Anything like that. Tube Screamer, we're using in the classic metal setting. So you've got your level all the way up, you've got your tone all the way up and your overdrive all the way down. And yeah. what that does is that, um, lowers the bass response, tightens up the um, highs, but it also gives a little mid push in just that beautiful little place. But especially on an amp like that, you will hear the benefits even better because it's sounding pretty bass. Right? It's a horrible tone. Yeah, <laughs> much bass, but just once you activate the tube screen without the MTW. It's right. crazy, isn't it? Absolutely crazy. We went with a TC flashback because Rammstein have used a classic TC delays in the past. So we just thought, you know, as a nod to it, it's a very different delay to what Rammstein used, but it's nice. And we would be amiss if we didn't mention the cab as well, because we, the reason we didn't uh, use the Marshall cab is because that's green bags. So this has got V30s in it and they're a much tighter response. And that's what you want for this type of music. Let's play a little bit with that rig, shouldn't we? You play, I'll twiddle. Yeah. So let's, let's start with just the MT2W and then let, let's put in the tubes here because then you can really hear how it affects your guitar tone. want to test drive these pedals here, which I can certainly recommend to you, uh, without purchasing them, and I mean, the tubes, when I look at it, it's beaten up, so it's probably a vintage tube screen. I don't even know how old is this, older than me. I think it's a 70, 70 something, right? I think. Exactly, so some of this stuff is very hard to get. Not for you, because you are one of the lucky human beings who now know about Tonepedia. The final link now here above Lee's head, which will lead you to Tonepedia.com, which is 
a website where you can interactively test drive all of that. And it feels like you would have it in your hands. You can tweak knobs, change amp sounds, you know, guitars, playing styles, whatever. Great yeah. experience. You can do it right now. You can go straight from this video and straight to the links below. And ta -da! That's what you should do now. See you. Bye. Players.